Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about let her go to get her back. Okay, so the main point that I want to put across, and it's, it's, it's absolutely crucial that you get this, okay? So when it comes to exes, or it could be girls that you've been on dates with, um, and for some reason they just haven't responded to you as much anymore, or they're not as interested anymore, perhaps they're backing away, perhaps they've dumped you, you know, whatever the situation is, the worst thing you can do is to chase them. Literally, that's the worst thing you could do, okay? Because if someone has backed off from you, whether it's because they've dumped you, or whether it's because um, they've just stopped displaying interest in you and they're not interacting with you as much, they're not messaging you as much, you're not hanging out as much if it's someone you're just dating. What you've got to understand is if she's backed away, right? And it, it's not just with women, it's with anyone, right, as well. Right? If, if someone backs away from you and you don't hear from them as much, it's because they need space, okay? So if you're not giving them space and you're trying to figure out what went wrong, you're like, what happened? I thought everything was good. Why did you dump me? Why did you um, stop um, showing interest in me? How come you're not messaging me as much anymore? I thought everything was going good. How come you don't want to see me anymore? Right? If you're, if you're doing that, first of all, it makes you look needy. But secondly, it doesn't give them the space that they are obviously needing for some reason, okay? Now, if it's someone that you're dating, what you've got to realize is that, you know, you may have only been on like a couple of dates with them, so you don't know too much about their life, right, essentially. Especially if it's someone you met online, not someone you've known for very long. You know, they've got their own life, they've got their own issues, they've got their own problems, they've got their own things that they need to deal with, they've got their own stresses, right? And sometimes people just need a, a break, right? Sometimes people just need a break, right? And it could be the case that you're dealing with a woman who is someone who just at the moment just needs a break, needs some space to think about things, to stew over them, right? Okay. Now, it might not be the case. Maybe they really have lost interest in you. And I feel like, let's say like the majority of the time, that is actually the case, sadly, that they have actually lost interest and that they do want to be away from you. They don't want to be with you, right? Most of the time that is the case, but you can come into contact with women who for whatever reason have a really turbulent life, right? When you meet them and their, their life is a little bit like a whirlwind, a little bit like a storm, and they need space sometimes to decompress, like perhaps they have a really stressful job and their boss is awful. Um, perhaps they're having family issues, perhaps someone they know is seriously or terminally ill and they're having to deal with that. Like there are a lot of stresses in every human being's life, right? Um, so you need to take that into account. You need to assume like, okay, look, there's two scenarios here, okay? Either she, you know, has a really stressful life right now and she just needs a bit of space and she'll get back to me eventually, or she's lost interest, right? Either way, either way, you can't chase her. You can't be in her DMs trying to figure out what went wrong especially if you've already sent her a message saying something like hey how are you how you been doing something like that right and you have been ghosted right if you've been ghosted and she hasn't responded to your last message which was let's say a question like hey how are you right then you need to give her time you need to give her time to respond because she got the message she knows it's there if she has feelings for you she definitely knows it's there okay right? That's not going to change how she feels about you. She knows the message is there, okay? She got the notification, okay? You don't need to remind her that you messaged her. If you have to remind someone that you've messaged them, then that's not a good sign, okay? Because if someone really likes you, even if someone, even with someone who needs space, they know that they've messaged you. you they know that you've messaged them. They know that, Right? And because they know that, they're either going to get back to you or they're just going to be like, I know I've got the message, but I'm not interested anymore, so I'm just not going to respond to it. I'm just going to ghost. Now, I feel like that's a bit more of an immature, the latter is a bit of an immature thing to do because it would be nice if things were a bit more transparent. Right? It would be nice if we didn't have to ghost. But it's so easy to do right now. All right? It's so easy to go just ghost someone if we're no longer interested, which is a bit sad. It would be nice if they were just honest and open and just said, hey, you know what, I'm just not feeling it anymore. I just don't want to be with you anymore. It would be nice if they would do something like that and just say that flat out. Okay. But sometimes, you know, it's just easier and more convenient, unfortunately, for them to not 
do that okay so it would be nice if they would do that but unfortunately that's not always the case okay but she's still got the message she knows that you've messaged her she knows that you're interested in her right she probably knows that you still like her that you're still interested in her she probably knows that by the fact that you guys have hung out you've been been around each other perhaps the fits and next they know that you've been around for a long time they, they may even know and have an inkling that you want to get back with them they know these things right so you have to wait for them because the ball is in their court they have to reach out to you they have to get back to you okay and that's really important that's why you should never chase after you've been dumped right and also after someone like you know someone you've been dating a woman has just started to lose interest okay and she's not she's not talking to you as much she's not wanting to hang out with you as much you have to give them space so one of the things that's really good especially if you're dating as well um is is to look over the messages that you've been sending each other. Who initiates the conversation the most? Who sends the longer messages, right? Who sends the more frequent messages? And if it's you, then you need to cut back on that a lot, right? Especially if she starts contacting you again, right? If she starts contacting you again, say to yourself that you're not going to message her as much as she messages you, right? Because that'll keep her more interested, that'll keep her pursuing you. Okay, so it's really important that you that you do that. So basically, the essence of what I'm saying is less really is more, right? And, le- and, and by doing less, you actually see how she feels about you. Because if she likes you and she's still interested in you, then she will reach out to you eventually. It may take a few days, may even take a few hours, could even take a few weeks. But if she still has an interest in you, she will reach out eventually. So you just need to just hold tight, basically, and not get too emotional and get too upset about it right because what can happen is sometimes you get so insecure right and I've felt this before in my own life when I was dating and a girl that I like wouldn't message me I'd be like oh no I need to I need to reach out to see if she still likes me but what this is coming from is insecurity it's it's coming from a place of insecurity it's not coming from a place of strength and basically what you're doing is kind of selfish because in a way you're like, oh, I'm going to reach out to her because I need to feel secure. I need to feel validated. I need to know that she's still interested in me because I'm feeling insecure, right? When the other person who may or may not still be interested or, or may or may not have a lot of things going on in her life that she needs to deal with before she reaches out to you or before she has time to think about romance at the moment, right? It's a selfish thing to do like because she, she may need that space. She may need space away from you, right? It might be the case that she likes you, but she needs a little bit of space because perhaps things have been going too fast for her, right? Because often sometimes we can try and force things and try and make a relationship happen yeah, because we're desperate for love and the other person we're dating gets overwhelmed because they're more relaxed about it. Perhaps they're not as needy. Perhaps they're not as desperate as what you are, right? And they're they're just looking to see where things go. But if you're the one that's like, oh, I want to need this relationship. It's so important to me. I've got to make her love me. I need to message her all the time. If you're doing that, it's going to make her want to back off, right? But when you give her the space and she still likes you, right, and you, you back off and you, you take things slower and more slower pace, that's when she'll come back to you, okay, so less really is more, and it's not that complicated, right, it's not as complicated as it may sound, it's not as complicated as it may it may seem, because what this is great, basically, essentially, because that means you have to do very little on your part, right, to find out how this girl feels about you, right, all you have to do is just wait and see, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to be proactive at all, you can be as lazy as can be, you don't even have to look at your phone that much, you can do so much less, right, and you can, because that's essentially what you're doing, you're not, you're not messaging, you know, you don't even have to do that, you don't have to even lift a finger to find out how this girl feels about you, because she'll reach out eventually, right, so it's not that complicated, it's not that complex, it's actually very, very easy once you wrap your head around it, and you realise that chasing is actually exhausting, okay? And it's better to just let the girls that you like come to you, right? Because the ones that do like you will come to you. And all you need to do is perhaps like arrange a date with them once a week or something like that and just watch them fall in love with you, right? Because you're doing less. You're not forcing things. And girls really like guys that do not force things, okay? 
right? So less really is more. And that's brilliant because that means you don't actually have to do that much, okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you're like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.